Well, you know it's a good day when a, a day after charging your new plumbing system, you detect a tiny, tiny leak. And this is about one drop every two hours. But it's there, and I can't simply leave it. And of course, it's right here next to the shower manifold. And uh, in that one spot, I couldn't do my quarter turn when I squished it on. So today we're going to try to have some fun and uh, repair this without having to cut all this PVC out and re-glue new pieces back in. So my buddy, Jim, down at the Home Depot on Gulf Beach Highway, showed me how to make this keen adapter. It's a, a quarter inch flare to half inch, uh, I think that's NPT, and a couple turns of Teflon tape sealed it up real nice. Now this is uh, what I'm going to connect to my plumbing system so that it, I can draw a vacuum on it. So after turning off the water heater and shutting off the water, I have drained the hot water rail. Of course guys are always preoccupied with where that last drop goes, so let's get that nice and drained. This is actually the hot side. That water heater just sits between the cold and the hot rails. We're get as much water out there as we can. And that's where my half inch to quarter inch uh, flare adapter is going to connect. And I can draw a vacuum on the hot water rail. Let's give that a try now. And I'm going to try to blow out the last little bit of water. And get as much out of there as I can because I don't want my vacuum pump having to fight with this much water. I think that's got it. Alright, so I've got my vacuum manifold, and this, this is just a silly old Harbor Freight style exhaust manifold, or <laughs> but a vacuum manifold for repairing a automotive AC. And you can draw a pretty good vacuum. You can get every bit of 30 inches of mercury. And uh, I've got it connected up to my old Pittsburgh one and a half cubic feet per minute <laughs> vacuum pump. Uh, people like to throw off on Harbor Freight, but uh, a lot of their tools are worthwhile. And um, my uh, other end is connected here through this manifold that Jim helped me build. And anyway, I'm going to start drawing a proper vacuum on this line. And I probably won't go completely to 30 inches of mercury. I'll probably go about halfway there, because I don't know how the rubber and plastic module inside the shower manifold is going to react to vacuum, but we're going to find out. This will be fun. Just dry this off real good. And start it. I guess I should open up this valve. There we go. Alright, I'll be back in a second once it's uh, down to a suitable level. Well, it took about 10 seconds to get down to negative, I'm sorry, to 30 inches of mercury. Uh, I'm going to let this sit a minute and see what happens. After 20 minutes, the uh, system has lost, what is it, about almost 6 inches of mercury. So if this were my car, I would absolutely not pump it full of Freon. I'd still be looking for the leak. So what I'm going to do now is draw it back down to 30 and then apply some new pipe glue. Let's see how that works. I love how quiet these vacuum pumps are. There. Alright. And this is just the regular old yellow Odie. Let's see if I can zoom in a hair. Let me see if I can focus a little better. There we go. And this is just the regular old yellow colored PVC glue. And you pick it up. 
at your regular hardware store. It's nothing special. I'm going to apply it very generously with the hope that the barometric pressure outside of this system is going to push the glue into the microscopic hole that's allowing it to leak. All right, I'm going to let that cure for a day and, uh, and then come back to you. All right, 24 hours have elapsed, and I've charged the, the hot water rail. We're going to see how well this patch works. I'm going to give it a few hours and then come back. Well, I left it alone all day. It's been charged for what must be about six hours now, and it's dry as a bone. Thanks again to Jim at the Lowe's on Mobile Highway there in Pensacola, Florida. Couldn't have done this without you. And uh, while I'm shouting out, uh, thanks to Gary over in Electrical at the Lowe's in Pensacola, Florida on Mobile Highway. Thanks, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I don't know if the vacuum actually helped, but uh, it certainly didn't hurt.